Hare Krishna. God is not one cause among many causes. He is the one cause of the many causes. Sometimes, suppose we are cooking. At that time, you may say, okay, I am going to cook uh, vadas and I am going to use grains, I am going to use water, I am going to use vegetables, I am going to use a star and I am going to use God. No, we don't say like that. God is not one of the ingredients that we use for cooking. God's grace manifests as the raw materials that we use. God's grace manifests as the facilities that we have for cooking. God's grace manifests as the intelligence and the ability that we have for cooking. God's grace manifests as the very fact that we are living by which we have the capacity to cook. So, God underlies the various causes that enable things to happen. In the Bhagavad Gita, uh, in the 11th chapter, when Krishna reveals the Vishwarupa to Arjuna, at that time he tells in 11.33 that Tasmatamatishtesho Labhasva Jitva Shatrun Bhongshwarajyam Samriddham Mayai Vaite Nihitaha Puru Meva Nimitta Matram Bhavasav Vesachi He says, therefore arise and Arjuna and attain victory. Attain victory, Krishna tells Arjuna. And further he says that all your opponents have been killed by my arrangement. By my arrangement, your opponents have been killed. Actually, Krishna doesn't even use the word arrangement in the Sanskrit. Although the word is put often in the translation. By me, they have been killed. Before only, it has already been done. It has been ordained. So now, if we do a fast forward and look at the Mahabharata war, but Krishna did not kill even one of the war warriors who were the opponents of Arjuna. They all died in different ways. And the important thing to recognize here is that Krishna was not one cause among many causes. He was the cause underlying the various causes. Now he was the cause because of which if we consider the battle with Karna, he was the cause ultimately because of which Karna, uh, uh, war, Karna's chariot sank into the ground. He was the chari- He was the cause because of which Karna lost his temper and Shalya. He lost his temper with Shalya and he created dissension with him. He was the cause by which Arjuna had archery skills. And he was the cause by which Arjuna had the presence of mind to use the right weapons. By which ultimately mm, he could kill. Uh, Arjuna's opponents could be killed. So the point is, Krishna, when we understand that he is, if you think of him just as one cause among the many causes, then we may think that, okay, I can replace him with some other cause and we can get things done without him. But when we understand that, when we have this idea of linear causal, of linear causality where we think of God as one of the causes, then as modern science advances, scientists think that or atheistic people misuse science to say that oh, we don't need God to explain things. But God is not the explanation of things, God is the explanation of their explainability. He is the reason why science is able to explain things. He is not one cause and science is another cause. So because science explains things, so God does not longer need to explain things. It's not like that. Actually, God is the cause underlying the various causes. So Science is able to explain things because God is the foundational cause underlying the movement of things. And in this way, He is the foundational cause of all causes. Science discovers and analyzes and puts into patterns the various causes which are secondary. Spirituality focuses on that ultimate cause and connects us with that supreme cause of all causes. Thank you. Hare Krishna.